I guess you're watching this video because your computer is running with an issue here as you try to open a program you have recently installed. This error arrived. The program can start because local l110.dll is missing from your computer. It's a very common issue, and all you need to do is watch this video till the end and follow that one to download your computer. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tech Evolution. In this very short video, I'll be fixing this error within 3 minutes. So, let's start the countdown. The first thing you need to do is open your favorite browser and search for the entire file name .dll. Be careful about the typing. You can see a few results. You can choose any result. I'm choosing the first one. This is not sponsored, but I'll put the link in the description. Here you can see a few download option based on the architecture. If you don't know your architecture click on start and search for system information you can see mine is 64 bit and i am recently updated to the windows update so i'll be downloading the second one i strongly recommend you to read this page it has multiple fixing method also as the download complete hit open the downloaded GFS2 files, one is the DLF, the other one is readme. To move the DLL, first open this PC, local Dixie, Windows, and find a folder name System32. Then click on the downloaded GIF, drag the DLL, and drop. I have already done this, so they are asking me to replace. And click on continue to give administrator access. Before we proceed, let's check by typing the file name. You can see the file is properly placed in the folder right now. So, job is done for 32 bit user. You can go and restart your computer. Only if you are a 64 bit user, you need to do a little more. Open this PC one more time. Local DXC, Windows, and find a folder named syswall 64 this is the home of 64 bit DLLs. Then same again. Check this once again. By typing the file name again, we can see the file is properly placed in the 64 bit folder. So, job is done. And finally, start your computer. In extremely rare cases, if there are two lockers, you need to download and install Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable and install your program again, and that will surely fix it. And that's all. If you follow me step by steps, you'll no longer have that problem left. Please let me know how you feel about this video. And do not forget to like and subscribe.